Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? John chapter 11 verse 40 Every time you venture out in your life of faith, you will find something in your circumstances that from a common sense standpoint will flatly contradict your faith. But common sense is not faith and faith is not common sense. In fact, they are as different as the natural life and the spiritual. Can you trust Jesus Christ where your common sense cannot trust Him? Can you venture out with courage on the words of Jesus Christ while the realities of your common sense life continue to shout? It's all a lie. When you are on the mountain top, it is easy to say, Oh yes, I believe God can do it. But you have to come down from the mountain to the demon possessed valley and face the realities that scoff at your mount of transfiguration belief. See Luke chapter 9, verse 28 to 42. Every time my theology becomes clear to my own mind, I encounter something that contradicts it. As soon as I say, I believe God shall supply all my need. The testing of my faith begins. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 When my strength runs dry and my vision is blinded, will I endure this trial of my faith victoriously or will I turn back in defeat? Faith must be tested because it can only become your intimate possession through conflict. What is challenging your faith right now? The test will either prove your faith right or it will kill it. Jesus said, Blessed is he who is not offended because of me. Matthew chapter 11 verse 6 The ultimate thing is confidence in Jesus. We have become partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 14 Believe steadfastly on Him and everything that challenges you will strengthen your faith. There is continual testing in the life of faith up to the point of our physical death, which is the last great test. Faith is absolute trust in God, trust that could never imagine that He would forsake us. See Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 to 6.